Hey guys, just a really quick tip. I want to show you something, a little problem that I experience every um, now and again in Highs and the solution I have for it. So if I open Highs, it's going to open and this is the default layout when you first install Highs, when you haven't set anything up, when you haven't customized it, you haven't even maximized it, it opens up like this. And this isn't what I want because I've customized the interface quite a bit. So this happened to me a few times, I'd just open it and all my customizations would be gone. And I haven't found a solution to fix the problem. And I think um, the developer of Highs is aware of it, so maybe it'll get fixed at some point. Um, also, I don't know if this is just unique to um, my operating system, which is Linux Mint. It might not happen on Windows and Mac OS and other um, Linux distros. But uh, the solution I've got is basically all the layout information is saved in a file. And it's a config file. So where the config files are stored on your operating system, I'm not 100% sure. So you'll have to um, locate them. But I'll just close this other window. But on um, GNU Linux, they're just in the home folder and then um, forward slash highs. Well, it's dot highs because it's a hidden folder. Anyway, um, it's this editor data.json, which is um, where all the layout information is stored for the um f f for the highs interface and for some reason every so often i'll just open it and uh, it'll be like this and the json data will have just reset the default so what i've got in the habit of doing is i have a backup here edited data uh, copy and that is that has got all the setup the way i want it so i'm just going to delete this one i'm going to duplicate my copy and just rename it to editor data. And now if I open highs again, it'll be set up the way I want it. So there we go. All my customizations are there. The layout is how I like it. So um, so yeah, that's just a quick tip is if you can locate this file, editor data.json, just keep a backup copy of it in case the editor gets screwed up for some reason, and then you can just overwrite it with your copy. Uh, just make sure you keep another copy once you've overwritten it. You don't want to replace. Uh, you don't ever want to lose your copy because that's your uh, that's that's your backup with um, with it set up the way you like. So hope this is useful. Hope it helps somebody. If anybody else has experienced this problem, and I'll uh, catch you next time.